Now let's see how the definition of a problem maps on to the root founding domain. First, the initial state we're given, let's say we start off in a rod, and the goal test, let's say that uh, the state of being in Bucharest is the only state that counts as a goal, and all other states are not goals. Now the set of all the states here is known as the state space. And we navigate the state space by applying actions. The actions are specific to each city. So when we're in a rod, there are three possible actions to follow this road, this one, or this one. And as we follow them, we build paths or sequences of actions. So just being in a rod is the path of length zero. And now we could start exploring the space and add in this path of length one this path of length one, and this path of length one. We can add in another path here of length two, another path here of length two. Here's another path of length two. Here's a path of length three, another path of length two, and so on. Now, at every point, we want to separate the state out into three parts. First, the ends of the paths, the farthest paths that have been, have, been, have been explored, we call the frontier. And so the frontier in this case consists of these states that are the farthest out we've been explored. And then to the left of that in this diagram, we have the explored part of the state, and then off to the right, we have the unexplored. So let's write down those three components. We have the frontier, we have the unexplored region, and we have the explored region. One more thing. In this diagram, we've labeled the step cost of each action along the route. So the step cost of going between Nîmes and IAC would be 87 corresponding to a distance of 87 kilometers. And then the path cost is just the sum of the step costs. So the cost of the path of going from Arad to Oradea would be 71 plus 75.